So I managed to jump into the Nightingale stress test this week and also caught up with the developers in a Q&A thing that they did. And I've got a bit of an understanding about what we can expect from this game coming out on February the 22nd this month. Now, my last video, well, my last video was about Ark and I think you can pretty much tell what my stand is on Ark and if you've seen the latest community update i mean that now they're adding like mickey mouse into the game so I, I have no idea what's going on with arc but i can tell you that uh, it's dropped way down on the steam charts and um they've split their player base in fact it, more people are playing arc survival evolved than they are ascended right now and if it wasn't for the modding community i don't think they would have any content whatsoever but the last video they put out was for some sort of side scrolling 2d platforming mod i mean ah uh, just i don't know what they're doing with that and i was kind of out i thought right that's it i, I mean the game has broken me arc has actually broken my gaming pedigree and i have needed to take a break and since i've taken a break a couple of new survival games have come out in fact so far 2024 has been you know we've been fired two brand new survival games in power world and enshrouded now enshrouded does look interesting and i definitely will be checking that one out i have had a look at power world but yeah it's not really for me <laughs> but um i think that's really because uh i've played breath of the wild and the switch and i'm pretty used to what nintendo have to offer and i think if you are a nintendo player or you use you play any of them games then power world is kind of like the poor man's nintendo game <laughs> and it's yeah it's you know i can see why people like it it's just not for me but this is about nightingale nightingale is the survival game that i've been waiting for and I finally got to try it and i can say i'm pleasantly surprised with what i've had to play so first off, the test stream was just that. We got dropped into a realm with some basic materials so we could have a crack at the building mechanics. And I've got to say, the building mechanics definitely feel quite snappy. At the moment, we're restricted to 350 pieces on a realm. And I have read that they do plan to extend that, but this is just the test build. Now, the blueprint system is really cool. I like the fact that you can rearrange your building before you actually commit to bringing all the resources to it. And it really helps if there's more than one of you because somebody can put the blueprints down and then other people can come and bring the resources and you can build these houses and your, your estate as it's known together if you want. And the great thing about this, this is where it kind of sits in its own bracket there's no need for a host server because they're going to be hosting all of this stuff on their own servers and if you have a friend and they're offline or you're offline they're still going to be able to go onto your world and your world is always going to be existing it's kind of a unique mechanic for the survival gaming genre in a whole and uh, i'm kind of really liking it uh, admittedly the stress test, I don't know how many it got to, but I had no problems. There was no problem, certainly no graphical problems. <laughs> and I'll get to that in a moment, but there was no problems connecting and actually being able to find my friends and actually join them in game. It was really, really easy. And uh, it didn't matter if the host or the person I was joining, if they left, we could carry on with what we were doing. It's it really was a pretty cool mechanic now at the moment it is capped at six players on one realm but there is going to be other opportunities for more realms and i think they're going to push that limit of both how much you can put structure wise and how many players can be visiting a realm at one time so a really interesting idea we've only got the three realms upon release and so far i've only really checked out the wood biome we've also got a swamp and a desert biome and i know that doesn't seem like a great deal to get started but with all of the screenshots that i saw on their test server with different people throwing in what they were seeing 
Well, they was definitely looking at different skies or different variations of what what they had was different to what we were seeing. And I can certainly see there's endless possibilities for the amount of realms that is going to have going forward. So the other thing about this game is they they already know that it's going to be a pve game there's no pvp and i like that that means they can just concentrate on the story bit and being able to team up and balance fights and scale it so that it is pve based and you can team up with your friends and uh, i think that's a great start and also i know that there's going to be some people disappointed that this is not coming out on console but to be honest with you from my point of view is kind of a bit of a relief because too much of games built on console and then ported for PC it used to be the other way around and um, I think that you know we're gonna get a less casual type of game I mean in all honesty like a lot of the AAA games they're designed to be played on a controller sit back on the sofa and lean back but I like a game a PC game to have a little bit of depth to it and uh, this looks like it ticks all of the right boxes now although I did get to play around with a few different weapons they spawned us in with some better gear uh, it's it's really hard to know what the sort of grind is going to be like I can sort of judge but we'll see what the final build looks like and see how long it takes us to get these various bits it's, that's one thing that was really hard to judge when you start with all of this gear I was kind of overwhelmed by all of the menus and of course when I jumped in there they've got a character Puck who's explaining the story of what Nightingale is going to be and about the realms and the attacks that was happening. I just skipped through all of that. I just skipped it immediately because I was on a time frame. Now, I walked away with the feeling like I can't wait to figure out and just take it slowly and let all of these things come a little bit at a time. And uh, of course, just being rushed through it it's uh, it's you know difficult to make a, a judgment really so i'm not this is not a review or anything but what i can say is i've i've been anticipating this game after seeing the trailers for at least two years if anyone's frequent in my channel or hanging around the discord you'll know that i freely admit to really wanting to get stuck into this game because it just kind of appeals to me what appeals to me is its art style and its aesthetic it's not it this kind of victorian steampunk aesthetic that's got going on here kind of i like i like the sound of that that seems seems like something that i can get into i noticed that they did originally did a post about uh, the ai and the walls being too much at the start i did notice that they were pathing from quite a far away and notices so there is definitely AI um, issues in the particular build that we played. And again, with the uh, things at night, I forget what they call, because I just scripted through all the stories, but the things that were spawning at night, they weren't kind of pathing to me just correctly at the moment. And I would kind of be worried about this stuff, but it's more about how the combat feels. And I felt when I was swinging my weapon, I felt like the club had a lot of weight to it. The axe felt right. And the gunplay, in fact, it, I'll, show, I'll just show you a bit of the ambience because it's the ambience, the adaptive music, and the sounds. So this is the boss fight that we was all, all doing.
So yeah, if anyone's familiar with my stuff, I pretty much I'm I'm always adding ambient music and sounds to the gameplay footage that you're looking at but this kind of does it seamlessly and uh, it, it makes and it adds to great effect as for different people on different machines i have i'm playing with players who have the highest specs and some who have like very very average spec machines and all of us had a great experience there's no optimization issues i feel like i had a frame drop but it might have been a lag spike or something but uh, the whole four hour four and a half hours I was on um, I certainly didn't have any issues and to speak of or anything to worry about I mean obviously this is an early access game uh, the UI definitely needs working on um, I felt like obviously the footage you're looking at now I felt like the steeps the screen was quite cl cluttered and uh, I'd like to be able to shrink some of these icons down and just play around with that and adjust that myself. Where it counts, where it actually counts in, in the gameplay, there's, there's definitely reason to be excited. The game looks beautiful and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to jumping into the world. And I mean, really, I suppose that's, that's an opinion. It's my opinion. And I suppose people find that poker well, poker, what is it? Um, Power World, <laughs> like Power World, is like beautiful, and you know, I suppose if you've seen Breath of the Wild you, or Tears of the Kingdom, you you wouldn't. But um, <laughs> yeah, this is this style that uh, really really appeals, and um, I think the way that they've gone about stress testing and doing the beta testing and just ensuring that they're going to have a product ready for sale that's going to be fit for sale. And from what I've experienced, there is definitely going to be value. There's definitely going to be a lot of hours with what you have already. And to some degree, the fact that it is launching in early access this way and that it's going to evolve over time, according to what the community want to see and community feedback, uh, this game could end up being really big and uh, I'm excited to get stuck in. But that's about all I have for this one. I will, of course, be back with more content when I have more good content to make. And uh, I'm certain that you can expect more Nightingale stuff from me in the future. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.